Good morning, happy Monday. It's bank holiday Monday and I'm off to my mum's today. I will show you my face shortly. It's about uh, 20 to 8 and I'm just about to sit down with my breakfast. And I've got the Quaker Oats oh, so Simple Big Bowl Original, which is a healthy extra B. I've made that with 200ml of skimmed milk as a first healthy extra A. And the rest of that healthy extra A has gone in my coffee um, for my breakfast. I've got a chopped pear and I've got 5 grams of this Options Belgian Chocolate Powder for one sin. One of my favourite breakfasts should keep me full until later on. Well, good morning. So now it's just gone 8 o'clock and I need to start making a move to get to my mum's. So that's the plan for today. It's already a scorching day. I think it's going to be really warm today. So I've got Charlie and Andrew's working and it is Charlie's birthday today. So hopefully you'll see the man himself. He's currently on my knee there. Um, he is one today. So um, I'm going to drive over to my mum's. We are going for a walk with my nephew William. Uh, we're hoping to go to Bradfield which is in the Sheffield area and it's quite a if you if you're from the area you'll probably have heard of Bradfield it's quite a picturesque place so hopefully we'll walk a few miles I'll um, get some nice footage for you and have a nice day with my family so I might not check in with you now for a while until I've maybe got to mum's but I certainly will take you with me well, good morning. We've arrived safely at Mum's and we've rushed straight out to catch a bus up to Bradfield. So that's what we're waiting for now. Um, it's going to be a glorious day, so we're going to have some fun walking. Got my little Charlie. Can't see him at the moment. I'll show you him later. He's got his new collar and new harness on for his birthday. So yeah, let's just hope this bus arrives. Here we are, the bus was a little bit late, but we are on it, including Charlie. Being a very good boy. Aren't we? On our way, are we on our way? Are we excited? This new colour. Climbing for us. This is Bradfield Church and the view over the hills. So we're gonna go and find somewhere to walk now. Follow the leader, follow my mum. My mum is here, Charlie's here and my nephew William, but they won't be appearing unless they're just in the background. So let's enjoy the sunshine. A bit closer to the church now. It's always been uh, a lovely area this, uh, we used to come here a lot when I was uh, younger, I'm sure uh, William's been up here a lot with uh, his grandma as well. So here we go, can, I can see two reservoirs. reservoir here that's Agden and one further in the distance. I think we're going to be doing a little walk around those. Yeah, beautiful scenery.
apparently we're climbing up to those rocks which are called Rocha Rocks. We had a nice drink. Oh. <laughs> Just trying to keep a decent pace up while it's coolish this morning before we get to the afternoon heat. There's the Rocha Rocks again. Starting the climbing up to the rocks. I see some steps in the distance. Come on, adventure dog. down to the two reservoirs and we're climbing on this single path up here towards those rocks even better view from a bit further up and those of you who were watching the Castleton vlog over there is Wynn Hill. Wynn Hill, yeah, which is over in Castleton and can be seen from many points around this area. It's almost like the Lake District. A bit uh, slightly foggy or misty in the distance, but onward. We just sat down for a, a drink overlooking the reservoirs. One there and two over there, which you won't be able to see. Charlie's having a drink of water and a few biscuits. Now I'm having some fruit and my water. But the most important thing is the view. It's about 11 o'clock. down off the tops now and we're walking through the fields. We've climbed stiles with Charlie. We've drank from the streams, haven't we? And now we're just... Charlie's after the sheep. He's, don't worry, he's on a short lead. It's not as easy to vlog with a dog, but I'm doing my best for you. Dry stone walls and there's a stile coming up. Now walking on the road for a minute, it's just beautiful scenery. Not quite sure how far we're walking today, but I think we're just going to walk until we're tired. And try and do a few miles, at least six or seven, and get to one of the reservoirs and walk around one of the reservoirs. At the moment it's warm. The sun is sort of behind the, the mist, if you like, but it will get warmer through the day. Walking along this very nice path now. Got a few nice picnic spots on here, but unfortunately it's still only quarter to twelve. So it's a bit early for dinner. It's a gorgeous view.
what goes up must come down. We found a very scrambly rocky path. Charlie's absolutely loving it. It's definitely an adventure dog. Mammy not so much. It's all, it's all practice though, isn't it? For the great Snowden climb. We're walking gradually down to one of those reservoirs I showed you earlier. This is where we're walking through Agden Woods Restoration and Enhancement of Ancient Woodlands And it is absolutely beautiful As you've hopefully seen We had a little dip We're going up there or following up there We've had a little dip in the river and now we're going into Windy Bank Wood as Andrew would say, very windy Beautiful day Hopefully it's getting a bit nearer to dinner time Unfortunately it's still not lunch time, we're still walking Over there in the distance you can see the rocks that we've been walking on. We've walked, climbed up a hill again on the road and back into the fields. Charlie's still going. I think it's nearly time to find a nice spot Oh there's the reservoir You probably won't be able to see it but it's down there in the valley You are zoomed in a little bit here But you can see Strines Reservoir down here hills up there so we have stopped for our lunch just before the reservoir Charlie's tied to a tree and he's had his drink and his water and I'm just trying to tempt him with a carrot away from my lunch which is pea and ham frittata a big salad, some balsamic vinegar and a um, Pepsi Max and I've got a couple of hi-fi bars in here as well so that is my lunch at our picnic spot well, they're suitably refreshed after our picnic and now we're walking around the Dale Dyke Beautiful sunshine Charlie's eating his dinner and drunk his water And I've eaten my quiche or frittata Very nice it was too Birds tweeting There's you can hear water somewhere, but we can't see it at the moment And here we are, this is Strines Reservoir So I think we can follow a path round this reservoir for a couple of miles Pretend we're already in the Lake District 
three or four weeks till me and Andrew are officially uh, going to the Lake District but in the meantime we have a, a very good uh, alternative here the scenery up there dog free for the moment he's with his grandma if anybody wants a, a deaf grandma and a slightly grumpy teenager a very adventurous puppy you're quite welcome to join us no William's not very it, being grumpy is quite good actually there you go this is what we've been waiting to see for the for the past couple of hours we could see it from up the tops and now we're walking by it Still walking around Strines Reservoir. It's quite a not an accessible path, but quite an easy path. Yeah, and we're going to be walking back on the other side. Very nice, and it's not blazing sunshine, which is nice, even though it's sort of the hottest part of the day. Probably if we had been up in the mountain, you know, if we had climbed up, it would be blazing. <laughs> I think this is just right for a little doggy, this, isn't it? So now we're walking the other way, back across, back behind Strines Reservoir. We've got to put a bit of a spurt on because we need to get a bus about three o'clock. So we're trying to pick the pace up while we're on flat ground. But yeah, lovely views. So if you're in the, the Yorkshire area, I can recommend Bradfield and Strines Reservoir. If you just wanted to do half an hour or an hour's walk, there's plenty of street parking. And you can just walk around this reservoir part, or you can make it a little bit longer, going up into the hills or walking from either of the Bradfields. We just found a little bench to have five minutes rest on and we're now leaving Strines behind and climbing up on the way back to Low Bradfield. What do you think William? It's a good walk. It's a good walk, nice weather. What do you think mum? Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice walk. Yeah. In the trees, yeah, we've kept in the kept in the shade. Is there plenty of water? It's been quite, it's been quite good actually. Quite well behaved. Right, better go and see if I can get my breath on this little incline. Again, what comes up 
must go down. So now I think we're on this road until we get into Low Bradfield, downhill, with a nice little breeze and a nice view. walking back through the last couple of fields before Low Bradfield, climb some more stiles, haven't we? Seen lots of doggies and lots of people. So we've not got long before the bus, but we've just got enough time for a coffee. So we've got an Americana with skim milk and my second hi-fi bar. William's got a, what is it, a screwball? Uh, strawberry sundae. Strawberry sundae. Mum's got a cup of tea. And Alfie's under there, Charlie's under there. He's had a big drink. And yeah, this is nice. The school room's in uh, Lower Bradfield. Here I am, I don't think I've shown you my face much today. I've got my Harry Potter t-shirt on. I don't go looking for trouble, trouble, trouble usually finds me. And I've got my mum's sun hat on. I'm looking very glamorous. And we've had our coffee and we've just got about 10 minutes before the bus and this is Low Bradfield. Bradfield Walk and Trail, Low Bradfield. Lovely river, and then over here there's a big park. So here is the park with the big playing field, and there is a there's an actual playing park with swings and yeah, that in there yeah. over there, which you can't see. But we spent many hours here when I was younger. Little river again, a nice bench. We're just gonna sit and wait here at the bus stop for the bus home. Where? Oh yeah, right up there. Right up there in the cot in the Where is it? There, up there is the church at High Bradfield where we passed this morning. So I will catch you. Thank you for sharing this walk with me. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you for my evening meal. And I think we've earned this. We've been home an hour or so, uh, or more. It's 10 to 6 and we're just sitting down to our meal. It's a, I've got a chicken breast, some mashed potatoes done with an egg, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots and parsnip with some chicken oxo gravy, probably about two sins worth. And then I've got a golden acre fat-free yoghurt, which is I'm going to count one sin for with strawberries and raspberries. So we're safely home, it's 20 past eight. I've unpacked everything. I'm just gonna relax with some telly. I think I'm gonna watch the SAS programme. Feeling a bit tired now, both of us. Charlie's laid out on the settee. Andrew's here, he's back from, well, he's been back from work a while. He's had a peaceful afternoon to himself. So I'm finishing with a coffee made with skimmed milk, some sin-free red pepper hummus and carrot sticks and a toffee skinny whip from Home Bargains which is four and a half sins. I believe I've had about ten sins elsewhere in the day. I had one sin on my chocolate porridge, six sins on hi-fi bars, about three sins with my dinner and this is four and a half sins so we'll say 15 sins and 23,000 steps. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.